Howdy folks, Josh here with The Weekend Angler, back with another Short Tip Saturday video and part two of our Back to Basics series. And guys, this week we are going to be putting new line on a Zebco 33 spin casting reel. Alright guys, like I said at the beginning of the video, this is part two of the Back to Basics series that we started last week. And guys, what the Back to Basics series is, is covering some entry level fishing tips and tricks for new anglers. And what we're going to be doing this week is putting new line on a Zebco 33 spin casting reel. But the method that we're going to be using applies to all types of the push button spin cast series of reels. Now, when you first buy one of these spin cast combos, they usually have pretty good line on them. But over time, that line gets worn out. It needs to be replaced. And that's what we're going to be doing today. So let's go ahead and get over there. I will show you step by step, walk you through the process of putting new line on this reel. We'll be ready to go. Step one, push the button at the back of the reel and begin pulling the line from the reel. Step two, when you've pulled all the line from the reel, remove the spool cover. This will expose the reel spool to which the line is tied. Step three, cut the line from the spool and pull the line the rest of the way through the spool cover. Discard your old fishing line in a safe area or recycle it. Step four, prior to installing new line, use a rag to remove loose dirt from the spool cover and the exposed reel components. Realize that your viewers will have a hard time seeing this clear line. Figure out something more visible. Enter the pink twine from the bait tags video. Step five, pass the end of your new line through the front of the spool cover. The pink twine just helps you see what I'm doing. You should follow these steps using the line you will spool the reel with. Step six, tie an overhand knot towards the end of your new line. Tighten the knot. Step seven, form a loop and use an overhand knot to form a slip knot. Make sure the knot tied in the previous step is outside of the new overhand knot. Step eight, pull out on the loop until the overhand knot contacts the loop knot. Step nine, cut the tag end from the slip knot. You now have a slip knot that can be pulled tightly without having to worry about becoming untied. Step 10, slip the knot around the reel spool and pull to snug it down. Now let's get the regular line put on this reel. Step 11, while holding tension on the line, reinstall the spool cover. Step 12, hold tension on the line and turn the reel's handle to install new line. Periodically remove the spool cover to check that the spool is filled. The reel spool is full when the line is about 1 8 inch to 3 16 inch from the outer edge of the spool. Once the reel is filled to capacity, reinstall the spool cover. Wrap the line several times around the reel handle and cut the line. Wrapping it around the handle prevents the line from accidentally ending up inside the spool cover. You can now reinstall your reel onto your fishing rod if you removed it for re-spooling. With fresh new line, this reel is now ready to catch some more fish. All right, guys, there you have it. We have brand new line on our Zebco reel. It's ready to be put back into service, start catching some more fish. Guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video and I hope it has helped you out. If it has, please take a moment, give it that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, checking me out for the very first time today, guys, I try to do a video like this. It covers a fishing or boating tip or trick. 
I do that every Saturday. It's called Short Tip Saturday. So hit that subscribe button and the little bell next to it. That way you never miss a video. Guys, that's all I've got for this week. I hope you're enjoying the Back to Basics series. Looking forward to continuing that on over the next several weeks. So watch for those every Saturday. Until next time, we'll catch you out on the water.